Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 5, lesson 6, add decimals. Page number is 335. Okay, in this lesson, guys, for example, we are adding these two decimals let's say 44.2 and 33.1. What is the most important thing? The, the, the normal addition process is just like this one. Okay? It's just the normal addition process. 2 plus 1, 3, 4 plus 3, 7, 4 plus 3, 7. We all know it. The most important thing, just placing the numbers under each other according to their place values. Like the decimal under the decimal. The tenths, the first digit after the decimal, it places tenths. The tenths under the tenths, the ones under the ones, and the tens without THS. This one with THS tens, okay? And this one without THS tens. Tens under the tens, okay? And then you add it normally. Okay, this is the estimate. Next page. Okay, again, see this, guys. We are adding 19.6, the estimate is 24.31, the estimate is 4, 24. Okay, now when we add it in actual, 19.6, okay, and 4.31. So we can't write 4 under this one, because this 4 is 1's and this 9 is 1's. So we write under each other, the decimal under the decimal, okay, even in the answer, the decimal under the decimal. And the tenths with THS under the tenths and this number have hundreds and this one doesn't have any hundred 19.6 so we can put the zero you know that we can put how many zeros we want according to our need okay now and then we add it simply 0 plus 1 1 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 4 uh, 13 3 here 1 up and 1 and 1 2 so 23.91 which is close to 24. Okay, this one, simple addition. They already placed the numbers. You just have to place, uh, add it. 9 and 3, 12. 2 down, 1 up here. 1 and 8, 9. And this one, 0. And these are the estimates. Next page, here. The same thing, guys. See, the ones under the ones. We can't write this 8 under the 4. The decimal under the decimal. This is ones and this is ones. So under the ones. Okay? So you have to add them all and then match your answers from this video. The lesson is very simple. Okay, next page. Horakio bought a logic puzzle and batteries from a toy store. Use the table at the right, this one, to find the total cost of two items not including tax. Okay. Logic puzzle 14.95 and batteries 10.39. We write them up and down like we did on last page and add it. So it's $25.34. And Athlete training for the Olympic swim each lap of a four lap race in the following time. These are the four laps one, two, three, four. So you write them all in a series and add them. The answer is 218. Terence is bicycling on a trail. He bicycles for 12.6 miles and takes a break. Then he bicycles for 10.7 miles. How many miles has Terence bicycled in all? So you add both of them. Here we added it. Okay. Uh, there's no decimal in between. Oh, why there's no decimal? There must be decimal 12.6 and 10.7. And the decimal. So it's 23.3. Okay. Down here, write a real world problem that can be solved by adding this one. I gave you this example. You can give me another example in the comment box. Okay. 
by two different pairs of decimals whose sums are this much. One pair should involve regrouping and the other one no. This is the one with regrouping, this one without regrouping. Two more examples here. How does place value help you add decimals? Of course, you write the place values under each other, so it helps you a lot. Align the place values of the add-in in order to add the hundreds, tens, and ones. The hundreds under the hundreds. The tens under the tens. And the ones under the ones. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.